Hey friends, Quincy here. I uh, hope you got to see part one of some vintage gear that I'm sharing with you today. This is part two, a uh, continuation more of the last one that I did on some vintage Vox pedals that I acquired probably 12, 13 years ago. Uh, when I got them, I did not know what they were at first because they were given to me in a box. You can kind of find out a little bit more about that in the first part of these videos so that you could uh, hear a little bit more history on that. So I am a Vox fan. I've got several of their amplifiers, uh, some of their micro amps that I've gotten. Uh, I really like the micro amps and so I've got a couple of those and I'll show some pictures of those uh, uh, in the video as well. But these pedals I got while I was a worship pastor at a church in Washington State. But they were in a, in a cardboard box with paper on top. I was very busy that morning. Didn't have time to look at it at all. And so I took the box, didn't even open them, took them home, put them out in the garage. It was very busy, forgot about them. Went out there to do some stuff. And one day I went out and said, hey, oh, <laughs> there's that box of pedals. I, I gotta open that up and see what's in there. I was I was floored because I was I was excited when I seen what was in there. And I'm excited to show you this one. First one was great, it was the King Box Wah, pristine condition. Look at that first video, it's awesome. You'll love that. Love the cases that they came in. This one is extra special. Look at this. Now I will show close up pictures so that you can see it better. Can you see that? That logo, very cool, man. This rubber, pristine condition. No marks, the chrome is, is absolutely beautiful and flawless for its age. So the official name of this pedal is called the Vox Stereo Fuzz Wah pedal. It's model 9-3700. Uh, made by Thomas Organ Company, uh, Sepulveda, California. Uh, now, when I got these, they still had the, the film plastic on the bottoms of these uh, that were still on there, but starting to peel, and they were yellowing. So uh, I asked a few people who were collectors of vintage gear and such, they advised me that it wouldn't change the value of it if I took that off. I took it off so that it wouldn't mar any of this original paint and this text and this all this on here. Never had a battery even installed in these. Only one time just when I got it to make sure they worked and then I took it right out. Okay, so what's unique about this pedal is you have the wah pedal and it engages when you step on it, it snaps and it starts. Now you got the wah pedal. Up front here, you have another secondary pedal that when you hit that, it gives you a fuzz distortion. And on the inside of this, on the electronics, there's little switches that you can turn more distortion, more fuzz or less on there. Um, I, I didn't play with that much because I didn't want to break it. It's a beautiful pedal. It is probably my pride and joy of all the gear that I own. Um, and I will keep it and cherish it, respect it, because I knew the gentleman whose father passed away and it was the estate uh, clean out and, and storage process from that estate that this came out of. What's extra special about these as well is the fact that they came with the brochures. So I've got the paperwork of the sale, original sale. I've got the brochures. This one I love the artwork on particularly just because of the way it's laid out. It's in my first video. Check that part one out. This is the brochure for the, the, the uh, stereo fuzz wah. Also love the artwork on the inside and how it's laid out. It's very retro, obviously, 1971. Why wouldn't it be? These are in really good condition. 
I'm trying to be extra careful with them. I don't pull on them very hard. All original stuff that came with these pedals. And as you can see with this one, the rubber again is pristine. Everything like the other one is pristine. The chrome is all pristine and for its age. You won't find these. The ones you'll find out there if you do a search on eBay, you're gonna find them like, they look like they've been drugged behind a pickup truck down an alley or thrown off a cliff. Some of them still work. These absolutely do work. They've never been used. They are just perfect condition. I will keep these, pass these on to my daughter someday. And she will keep these forever or I will come back and haunt her. Unless they offer her uh, a ridiculous amount of money, which then I would advise her to sell them. <laughs> Anyways, hey man, I hope you guys enjoy some of these little videos. I. I'm not a professional. I just do these for fun. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like these pedals. Hope you're jealous. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.